Hey guys, this is a uh, Project Monday that is a little different. Uh, I haven't really done a lot of actual physical building that will change in the next couple of weeks, I promise, for those of you who have been anxiously waiting to see what's gonna happen. Um, mainly, I've been starting to work on some of the other parts. Now, I've gotten a lot of laser things done. Uh, you've seen the frames, you've seen some of the other parts. I still have parts coming in soon uh, with the, the black acrylic pieces on some of the panels. I think there's three or four, maybe even five pieces uh, where it's actually like black acrylic. So those are coming, but there's some other things I need to make out of laser. Uh, and there's tons of stuff I have to get 3D printed as well. But I thought I'd show you some of the, the progress on how I go about getting the laser pieces done um, for some of the pieces. So there are th a couple distinctive parts. So you can see here on the, the picture that I'm showing up over this is that there are these quadrant faders and there are these quadrant faders. Both of these, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find. I have found one or two on eBay, but they're really expensive and I just couldn't justify them. Plus they look fairly simple, so I'm gonna try and do them as simple as possible. There's also these, and these are the little switches I'm gonna do for my custom panel, but they're also very specifically ones that were in the old ones. So thankfully someone in the TARDIS Builders Forum uh, came up with a really great design for his. So I'm gonna kind of uh, take a little bit of his lead and come up with my own here. And you can see this here in the background as well. What I've started to do is I have three blocks here. These are my three blocks where it comes to each of the shapes. And these ones are my sliders. These are my big quadrant faders and these are my smaller quadrant faders. So I have to kind of make everything fit as close as possible and they're arced and everything. So but thankfully they're all about the same, um, same shape. And, and style. So go through that real quick. You can kind of see me work here. I'll fast forward it, uh, get an idea. But yeah, no, it's, 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 this is the part that I have to really work on and get the pieces working as well as possible in order to get them ready for the time being. So starting off, we're gonna work on this one here, which is my two sliders on my custom panel. All right, so that's about it, guys. Um, lots of work on that. Hope you enjoyed watching that. The process is pretty interesting. Trying to figure out eighth of an inch and quarter inch, so some of those are gonna be different thicknesses, and I will show you the progress of that, and hopefully it goes together pretty well. Um, the only other thing is on this screen right here, you can see that is the uh, banana plug panel that I mentioned in the last video. So just looking at how to put it all together, getting all the letters, 
and figure out what font it is, and then I'll have to figure that one as well. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll probably get them all cut at the same time, just to save on that. Uh, so I have to wait for those banana plugs to come in. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed. If you have any questions about you know, the Illustrator converting to laser cutting and everything, just ask me down in the comments below. I hope you guys have been enjoying this. This is all part of the process. Uh, some of the stuff I've done before that you haven't seen, I didn't show me actually do all this for the other panels, so I thought it would be kind of fun for you to actually follow along with this. Anyway, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I will answer them as I get to them. Um, it's been really fun doing this, really fun sharing this with you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to click over here and subscribe. These going to be more. There is going to be more and more videos uh, of different things especially as we start doing the entire roundabout of cutting all these pieces out. Plus, uh, it'll be really fun when we get to the point of putting a lot of these things in. That, to me, is going to be the most fun. It was a lot of fun to do that with the keys there, but I haven't really done the switches yet, so that'll be really fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for, for everything, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week.